Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another KO Perico heist video. This time we're doing it in hard mode because there seems to be a very big amount of confusion um, as to hard mode. Some people are doing it in hard mode and they don't even realize they're doing it in hard mode. Some people aren't doing it in hard mode and they don't know how to do it in hard mode. So basically, we're here. If you watched yesterday's video, I purchased a hanger because it's on sale. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but we bought it anyway. Um, but during that mission, I got a notification saying that, that if we go to the KO Perico now, it's going to be in hard mode because it's within the 48 minutes of receiving it. I'm going to explain it more when I get there, but let me run over here real quick. Where, where the bloody hell is it? Kasaka. Okay, so we're at the Kasaka online. Let's switch over. Invite only session. This should spawn us right where we want to be. All right, here we are in the Kasaka. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to know how to do this in hard mode, essentially, let's say you just completed the heist, right? And then you're like, okay, we've got to wait until it's available again. I think I don't even know how long it takes these days. Uh, but you've got to wait for it to be available again. Now, as soon as he calls you, this little fella right here, as soon as he calls you, that means you have 48 minutes from when he calls you to start the setup. And if you do it within that 48 minutes, you will trigger it in hard mode. So let's see if we can do that right now. See what you mean? See what I mean? Setting up cost is 25, which it always is. Setting up now will set the heist to hard mode. Do you wish to proceed? Of course I do. Okay, so you can see right there, it says hard mode active. So that's first and foremost how you're going to know if you're doing it in hard mode or normal mode or whatever. You'll see it right there on the bottom right. Um, and just to clarify once again, if you want to do it in hard mode, as soon as he calls you, after you've been waiting around for a while for this to come up again, if you do it within the first 48 minutes, you will trigger hard mode. So we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to do the KO Perico heist in hard mode because it is a little bit different. So in this video though, no fret, I'm not going to be doing, oh, is he still yapping? I'm not going to be doing all of the, uh, the setup in this video because it's, it's, you know, it's pretty easy to figure out how to do the setups. Um, but if you want me to do a video on setups, let me know. Because I feel like some people are struggling with the setups. So we are going to be doing this in the Kasaka, the easiest, fastest way possible. And then it is going to be a little more difficult on the island. I haven't done a video of the KO Perico heist in hard mode. So this video you're watching right now is that. So as of right now, you can see I have done nothing. I haven't done any preps. I haven't gathered the intel. So I'm going to come back to you guys in just a second. And this is all going to be done. And all right, ladies and gentlemen, just like that, we are back. Just so you know, in hard mode, the setup missions are no more difficult than normal. So it is just as simple. The one thing I am excited about, though, as you can see right here, is finally, after like 10 or 11 tequilas in a row, we finally got bearer bonds. So I'm happy we got something decent. Okay, so for this mission in hard mode, it is a lot different than in normal mode. Um, obviously, it's harder. So we are going to have to change our strategy here a little bit, mainly because... The, you can't really kill anyone. If you kill people in hard mode, towards the end, once you've got the main uh, primary loot, there's like a huge cone of sight that goes across the map and they just see every dead body. So we are going to be killing like maybe one person in this, but as long as you follow it the same way I do, doing this in hard mode is honestly still super easy. Um, but obviously you need to watch this, figure out how to do it, do it yourself at least once. And once you've got it down, you'll be like, be able to do this with your eyes closed. So obviously, first and foremost, the approach vehicle is the Kasaka. That's how we're doing this. It is going to be the easiest way to do it. The equipment, we do not have demolition charges. You do not need demolition charges for the way we're going to be doing this. Uh, you do need to make sure, though, you get the cutting torch. You have to get the cutting torch. And then weapon loadout, I always get the aggressor with the suppressor. It's just the best loadout you can get for the KO Perico heist. All right, so here we are in the exact setup. Like I say, the Kasaka. The infiltration point is going to be the drainage tunnel. And then the entry point is also the drainage tunnel. And then the escape point. I always, I've just got into a habit of putting it on main dock now, but it really doesn't matter. You can put that wherever you want. Time of day is going to be daytime so we can see what we're doing. And let's go ahead and continue. All right, so as always, it does not take a genius to swim on over to the yellow circle. So I'm going to speed this up here a little bit. But as you'll see straight away, it's going to say team lives. Wait for it there. Zero. So we are in hard mode. So let's speed this up. All right, so here we are in the drainage tunnel, our entry point. This is why you need the cutting tool. Otherwise, you will not be able to do this. Make sure you get the cutting tool. 
Uh, but this part is simple, so let's speed this up. All right, and we are through just like that. Now, this is the part. I don't know how loud this guy is for you guys, but I turned up the volume because I thought he was pretty low. So hopefully he's not too loud. Uh, but this is the part where you need to do it the same speed I do. Because the security guards always spawn at the same place every single time. But if you do slow down and do it differently, the guards are going to be in different locations, depending on how fast you do it. Like I say, it is super easy. If you just watch me do this at least once, twice, and then do it yourself, it is easy. You'll be able to do it with your eyes closed. Um, but you do need to do the same speed. Because if you do this at a different speed, you're going to be like, oh, I got caught. Um, but it's probably because you waited at this location right here for too long. Um, so usually I would kill people. But again, because we're in hard mode, I do not do hard mode killing. I only do hard mode um, and basically like super, super stealth. So we're just going to run the exact same location. Just follow the way I'm doing it. Don't even need to look at anyone. And then when you get to the stairs here, just wait for a second because you can see that guy up there. He's already started moving. So we can just walk around this corner. See, he's walked into his little thing there. And then we just walk around this corner. Don't run into that guy. That wouldn't have been good. I was going a bit too quick there. And then you're just going to wait here at this wall. Because these security guards are absolutely stupid. They are blind and dumb, ladies and gentlemen. They will not see you. Once this guy comes down the stairs here, he's going to be there for the rest of this mission. He is not going to go back up the stairs. So you don't need to worry about him. So we're just going to run up here. Now, when you get the safe, you have an option. Well, not an option. It can either give you anywhere from like 30 to 100K. Hopefully we get lucky. We get 52 right in the middle. So we were actually lucky on this run. I rarely get pictures here. I'm sure you guys <laughs> are the same. But we're going to go ahead and grab this real quick. We are going to glitch to get the rest of the loot. Some people get OCD about their loot bag. If it's not 100% full, they feel like they're failing this. In all honesty, I do this mission so often, like every day, like I say. And sometimes I have more, sometimes I have less. I only get the loot that's usually in that room that I glitch into. I don't worry about having to fill it up or anything like that. Okay, so firstly, we're going to have to run down here. So you can see there's a guy beneath me. And you can see that the jug is coming. So we're going to be jumping over this wall into that room. So first thing we need to do is go into first person. And we're going to be jumping more towards this side. So let's go ahead and jump here. That guy shouldn't see me. You can see the jug is about to come up. So we need to be quick. You jump up here, turn to the right. And we're in. So he's right there, as you can see. So if I go, if I switch my position here. Why can't I see? Okay, it's fine. As soon as we start looting, he shouldn't be able to hear us. Should be able to go here. Like I say, we're not going to be killing him or anyone because in hard mode, once you grab the primary loot, you like trigger the... Like they all have like infinite vision. So if as soon as you get the primary loot, they're going to go crazy. I should have got the gold first. I'm an idiot. People always <laughs> yell at me for not doing that. I'm an absolute idiot. Okay, so the jug should have just gone up the stairs. And now that guy has passed as well. Um, I should have got, obviously, the uh, the gold first there. I'm an idiot. It's fine. Like I say, I don't worry too much about money in this game. As long as I'm doing this every day, I'm fine. All right, so we're going to walk past this guy. We had to go back upstairs. Usually, I would have the key to go downstairs. But since we're doing this in hard mode, I can't kill anyone. Um, so we can't use the key. So we're going to do this. I'll speed this up a little bit because you guys know how to do this. And it is quite boring and we have to do four of them. All right, so here we are on the last one. I'll do this one with you guys. What I do is just go one. And then if you go to the top again, it's one, two. And then if you go to the top again, it's one, two, three. It's just like that if you've never done it. One, two, three, four. And then that's one, obviously. So two, three, four, five. And then this one, if you go to the bottom, you can do it the opposite way. One, two, three. One's there. So this one will be one, two. Did I make that way more confusing than it needed to be? I don't know. Uh, but I'm still mad that I forgot I didn't get the gold first there. But it is totally fine. It is totally fine. You guys will probably have different loot than me anyway. So I'm not too bothered about it. But yeah, typically, I would be killing people. So once you've come down here, hold on, I actually need to make sure because there's a code here they're going to give me that I need to remember because my memory is bloody awful. So let's see what this code is. I'm going to be saying it out loud because I'm awful. 953458. 953458. 953458. 
Nine five three four five eight. Nine five three four. Was it five eight? I'm pretty sure it was five eight. My memory is just absolutely god awful. Five eight? There it is. So yeah, typically once you've grabbed this money, if you've killed anyone in hard mode, they will get triggered. But they're not going to trigger right now because we have no dead bodies. There's like a huge cone that goes over. Look at the mini-map. You may see it. I don't know if it will. Okay, it didn't just do it that time. But typically, like, it, it, you'll know what I mean. If you do this in hard mode and you kill people, there'll be like a cone of vision that just basically engulfs the whole map. And they'll get you. They'll get you for it. So obviously, we're just on our way out now. So what we need to do is we're just going to go out this way. Let's wait here. So you can see the jug is coming. I think I can do this before the jug gets here. So I'm going to just jump down. Oh, I think I'm pushing my luck. The jug. Oh, let's jump over this wall. <laughs> I probably could have made it up that staircase. I probably could have. If I was you, what I would do is wait up there where I was. You see where I was on that balcony next to that guard that was upstairs? Honestly, wait up there for the jug to just walk past. Oh, you can do what I just did. Um, but it's really not worth it. So you can see there's another guard. Okay, so now I can go up here. If you look at the minimap, no one can see me. We can jump up onto here. There's no guards I can see on the minimap. So we're just going to run straight up here and in. Now, this is like where I said, we're probably going to kill one person in this. If you did this in hard mode like I'm doing right now, and you killed people, you would have triggered the alarm by now. But because we've done it without killing anyone, it's going to be just super easy. The only thing I would do differently is obviously where I just jumped down right there. I would probably just wait on the balcony until the jug has kind of gone out of vision. Or you can just do it the exact same way that I just did, which obviously, clearly, is working. So, this is the only guy that we're going to be killing. Mainly because... First of all, there's no one right here, but there is a jeep that comes past. But by the time the jeeps come past, we're going to be so long gone, it doesn't even matter. We're just going to do the exact same exit that we always do, which is this direction right here. <clears throat> no one saw that, right? No one saw me just fall off that bloody motorcycle. That's the first time I think I've ever fallen off that motorcycle. Swear to you. I promise I'm not that bad. All right. Anyway, we're just going to run up and... Okay, this, that hurt, that hurt. And then we're just gonna swim straight forward here. Some people go to the right there towards the uh, the mines. I just, I just go straight into this little ravine here. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Like I say, if you have questions on it, let me know in the comment section down below. But I've tried multiple different ways of doing this in hard mode. Um, as you can imagine, and this is the easiest and fastest way that I've found so far. Um, obviously, you can make sure you get the proper, you know, if you have gold, always get the gold before the cash. Like, I don't know what I was thinking there, getting the cash, but it's fine. We still came out of here. We could have got like probably 1.75 instead of got 1.67, which is fine. But just like that, it is over. It is done and dusted. Now, that is how you do it in hard mode. Like I say, if you ended up killing anyone during that, as soon as you get the primary loot, which I'm sure you guys have noticed, because I've, I've heard it in the comment section of my videos a lot, people saying, I did your exact same thing. As soon as I get the primary loot, there's like a cone that goes over the map and they find the bodies and it triggers. Yeah, it does. So to do it in hard mode, the easiest way to do it, like I just did, is doing it without killing anyone except for that guy at the end. Um, he's, he's, you can just kill him. You don't need to worry about it. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I'm always trying to find the quickest and fastest ways to do this heist. And if you have any tips or tricks for me, leave them in the comment section down below. I will always test them out. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video.